What's going on, y'all? So look, so with this Bandman Kevo 16 visuals in a dime situation, right? So look, to me, I think Bandman got this all set up with 16, you know what I mean, for cloud situations, like y'all like to say. I don't think that, I think that, um, I ain't gonna put the man business out because you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to sit over there, you know what I mean? And uh, you know what I mean? But I just think that there's a myth behind this madness. <laughs> but, but one person who might not be informed in all this is the broad. Because she seemed to me like she don't know the difference between what's going on and she just, to, to me, she's stupid. Let's be real, she's stupid. And she, she uh, in the middle of two cocks. <laughs> if we gonna keep it real, nigga, she in the middle of two cock a doodle doos, my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, but look though, I say this because I wanted to use this as an example. Because what she doing, that's the that's your typical ungrateful ass broad. Airing the airing a dude out and this nigga really and this nigga fed you. He fed you. Man, so I looked at some of them videos. She talking about how she held dude down. When he was locked up, okay, I commend you for that. Yes, yes, shout out to you for that, right? However, it ain't like he ain't took care of you. For what I seen, that man was taking care of you. He had you living right, for my observation. And all of a sudden, you feel me, you did some disloyal ass shit. And he pulled it away from you. And now you mad that he pulled it away from you. Because you wasn't really tripping like that, you feel me, uh, when he said what he said, as long as he was taking care of your light-skinned ass. What do you have to offer other than a cute face? Nothing. When you said that that man was sitting over there, you know what I mean? Okay, you sit over there and said that you went to sit over there, you understand me? And you did your little stripping thing to put, put money on uh, homie books. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I'll fuck with it, right? But you down in the nigga. It just seemed like this is a whole bunch of bitter and ungrateful ass shit. And when I'm using this, I'm using this as an example for other bras because other bras will do this to you. You know what I'm saying? What they got going on, it seems to me like it's just straight business on Batman Kevil's part. But a bra will do this to you no matter what you do for that bitch. She will sit over there, you understand me? And when you cut it off, when it stop coming, when she feels some type of way, when she when she start hopping on some other cop, she would do this, she would do this. What she's doing, she would do that. Air you all your shit out. Don't give a damn what's going on. She would just sit over there and just air you out. Betray you. Nigga. She she seemed to me like she does nothing. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? The man took care of you. The man sit over there, regardless of what he did, he he put a ring on you. He didn't have to do that. Um he took care of you. He really didn't have to do that. You know what I'm saying? He was just pretty much showing appreciation appreciation for holding you uh for holding him down. I believe he put a baby in her. He shouldn't have did that, but he did. It is what it is. You know, we all got babies, you feel me, from... Well, now, I ain't gonna say all, but, you know, we got babies, you feel me, by bitches that, you feel me, we look back today like, God damn, why I fuck her? You feel me type shit, you feel me? But, you know, it seems to me like she an unappreciative, unappreciative ass bitch. And she talk about all this loyalty shit, right? But if you was true... If you was truly loyal, right, you wouldn't be doing this shit. 
with some other dick. You wouldn't. You would not be doing this with no other dick. If you was truly loyal. Now we're going to tie this in to everybody else. We're going to tie this in to the world. So pretty much what I'm, the way I'm talking to you is I'm using an example and tying this in to the world. Because I want y'all to sit over there and take this. And understand that this is real life. This is what a broad will really do to you. She will betray you in an instant. I didn't had a broad sit over there and you feel me all lovely dovely. You feel me all we need to be a family type shit. And the next minute, you know, she sit over there talking to them, talking to the police. Him and him and him. Yeah, yeah, he right there. You feel me getting pulled over and I'm, you understand me? And I'm, I'm sitting over there like Akon, I'm locked up. They won't let me out. But, you know. You know what I'm saying? These broads, when they're governed by their emotion, you just don't know when they're going to blow. You don't know when these broads are going to blow. It could be next month, next hour, next week, next year, five years, ten years. You never know. These broads are going to blow. These broads is going to... You got to always remember, these broads are going to do something stupid. I don't give a damn who it is, how bright you may think it is, how bright you may think she is. These broads will, is going to do something stupid. It's the inevitable. It's the inevitable. They're going to do something dumb. And what this broad is doing is dumb. How you know How you know this nigga ain't put you to test to sit over there and see if you should continue to get what you did. So you failed the test. I'm pretty sure this nigga done pillow talk to you, done told you something nice in your ear, and he going to leave you too. So you're going to be trying to go from cock to cock. Trying to sit over there and come up because you ain't got no, you ain't got no drive to be great. You ain't got no hustle. You just want to be taken care of. You think, you think your little light skin ass looks is good enough to be taken care of for the rest of your life. And I'm sorry. It's not. And don't she got another nigga's kids too other than uh, Kev's? So hold up. You got a multiple baby daddies, my nigga. And you think, and you think your, <laughs> you think your chances is high? Of getting somebody that's going to take care of you for the rest of your life, you sound dumb. She ain't paying no dues. Like that nigga Kevo said in another video, hey, I was trying to sit over there and pretty much put a skill in there to, to, to get her bread up, to quit being lazy. Let's get to this money. And you ain't want to do that. You ain't even cook. We eating out. You ain't even want to cook. Tells me like you lazy. That's why, you know what I'm saying, you told, that's why you said that you had to get a job as a, uh, as a, a student, no, a teacher assistant, because you feel me, that's the best you can do because you had no skills to sit over there and make it out here. You had to sit over there and be a teacher's assistant and, and, and couldn't even really make ends meet. And you mad because that nigga telling you, you feel me, uh, you, you trying to say this nigga ain't had no money, but yet you feel me, you talking about you was in a condo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She said a whole bunch of shit that just see this didn't make no sense to me, my nigga. But it just seemed like an ungrateful ass bra. If you want to want to put two and two together, that's an ungrateful ass bra. So, you know, a lot of y'all right now got some ungr you you stop doing what y'all doing for that bra and see if she switch up. See a lot of y'all. A lot of a lot of y'all bras fucking with y'all because of y'all situation. They not you not they not fucking with you for you. And when that situation is over, something happened, watch that bra gonna be gone too. These hoes ain't loyal. You know what I'm saying? They so-called loyalty that every broad that I sit over there and run across and that everybody says that they have is limited. It's limited. They only loyal for a season. They only loyal for a season. Because no matter how bad y'all fell out, if you was truly loyal like the way you said, you wouldn't be airing me out in front of millions of people. You wouldn't be doing that. You wouldn't do that to me. After I done took care of you, got you in all these bags, and in a house that you ain't got to pay for. I, I believe I heard that nigga said that he tried to put her in a house, that he did put her in a house, but she just wanted to be with him. Yeah, see so what it is, is she just wants some love. 
That's why you feel me when a nigga like 16 shot up sitting over there, put some, she just want to sit over there and just feel love. She just wants some love. But Kevo seen her true nature and backed off. And pretty soon 16 visual is going to sit over there and see her true na nature and back off. But one thing you already did was you betrayed the trust. You betrayed that man. It, you would never, ever get what you had. So, you know, I hope this, you feel me, even though I think it's for clout, <coughs> I want y'all to pay attention to the situation because that situation is really real life. A bra will switch up on you in a minute. You thinking y'all have a, you think y'all have her playing house and she love you and all this extra shit. Hmm. All right. Watch. Watch. Mm-hmm. Watch when, watch when tough times hit. We're going to see how down she really is. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying, nigga. Like, lying to the pussy, my nigga, is what you niggas should not do. Because these bras is, is going to blow anyway. You don't know how many bras and sit up and tell me they're going to be submitted and committed to this cripping. And they just blow up. Couple come in, couple leave out. Couple come back in, couple leave out. To see is what it is. That's just that's just our real that's just our reality. That y'all gotta sit over there and accept. Never switch, never change for no bra. Never change for no bra. Always do you. And if she can't get with that program, cuz she gone. But yeah, man, y'all niggas like, comment, and subscribe, though, cuz. And uh, we out.